It all started with the click of a mouse on Craigslist. Stephanie Horcher wanted to move to Myrtle Beach from Maryland and decided to use the website to find her new home. That's where she also discovered Amy Brunick, who was advertising apartments in Atlantic Beach. She just said that it'd be month to month and when we picked up the keys, we would sign all of our paperwork at that time. Not signing an agreement before handing over almost $1,000 is something Stephanie now regrets. Everything seemed completely legitimate at first until it got closer to sending the money until it got closer to getting the keys. Stephanie says after getting the runaround, the staff at Cottages at the Beach told her the apartment she made a down payment on was not ready, so they offered her another one. Stephanie later found out the electricity could not be turned on because it didn't pass a town inspection. So she refused the other apartment and wanted her money back. That's when Brunick sent this letter saying the cash was non-refundable. We lost $976. And since, you know, all of this situation, we paid $80 in a court cost. Stephanie won her civil case against Brunick and a judge ordered her to pay. This man, Scott Topal, is fighting Brunick too. She's taking people's money and she's hurting people. He tells me around the same time Stephanie was supposed to move into Brunick's property, she took a down payment of $1,700 from him for the exact apartment. She was supposed to move in the day that I got there and paid for the house also. Topal says a similar explanation was given to him as well. The apartment advertised on Craigslist wasn't ready and she offered another place. With nowhere to go, he agreed. Stephen Sumter used to work for Brunick and says that's what she would do. She'd advertise for a specific room and then actually rent them a different room claiming that room wasn't available and the, and the lesser room was absolutely horrible, deplorable. There's mold, there's mold in the shower, there's mold in all the corners, there's, I mean, the air conditioners drip inside, there's sewage dripping from an upstairs apartment, pipes that aren't connected to anything. These pictures are from the Atlantic Beach Police Department that show some of Brunick's buildings. You can see wires hanging from the ceiling, trash in the yards, and mold covering the walls. I talked to several others who used to work for Brunick too. They all had the same story. Like mold on the walls. She had me wipe down with soapy water and paint over them. We've had to, been told to spray Clorox over the molded areas so people, when we go to show it, they don't see it. Town manager William Booker and the police department want to put an end to her business practices. We've had numerous complaints from uh, various residents about the conditions of the building, about uh, financial transactions related to rent. So what does Amy Brunick have to say about all these accusations? I found her just minutes before being arrested on charges over rent payments. People saying a lot of bad things about you and you're sitting here saying that that's not the case. Why would all of these people say all these things about you and you're saying, no, you're just doing good deeds? Um, I think it's because the police have encouraged them. Complaints I obtained from the police department range from electricity being turned off for days to water bills not being paid and people evicted with children in the middle of the night. I think the exact opposite is true and Atlantic Beach is just trying to paint me like that. Another potential problem, Brunick has no business license in Atlantic Beach or North Myrtle Beach. But once I start looking into the case, she filed for them. And she tells me while she waits, she is not renting her properties to any new tenants. Currently, yeah. the people who live there, yes, are living there. But we're not taking in new people. But our investigation finds that's not true. Just hours after Brunick is released from jail, more ads pop up on Craigslist. Take a look. And our undercover video shows a worker for Brunick showing property to a potential renter, claiming the properties are pit bull and drug friendly. Is there, is there herb around here? Yeah, see, we all smoke herb. Right on. Good. 